Okay, so I'm back, this time with three browsers instead of four, and some fun stuff in the bottom right corner. Just to explain what they are, we have here, we have a graphics card load, because the idea behind hardware acceleration is to hand some of the processing off to the GPU. So here you can see the load on my graphics card. And here we have the cores of my computer processor. Uh, it's If you ignore this one and this one, because they're encoding this video, the others are all the, others are all the browsers that you see on my screen. Uh, there's no real easy way to show you which ones are being used by which browser, but, well, it's just for fun, hey. So in the top left corner we have Chrome 7, developer whatever. Um, it's a nightly build. In the top right we have IE9, developer preview 4. And in the bottom left we have the latest nightly build of Firefox 4 Beta 5. Uh, all three are hardware accelerated, but because it, they are all betas and they're all in development, this is not the final implementation of hardware acceleration. They all have different levels of hardware acceleration. So I'm going to jump straight in because the biggest change is with Chrome, as we wrote about on Download Squad the other day. Uh, Chrome now has proper hardware acceleration. And as you can see, instead of one or two frames a second, it's now holding a steady 40. Now in IE9, it too is around 40. Chrome is actually a little bit faster, although they're very close. And Firefox 4 is now about 20 or 30 percent slower than the other browsers. Now again that's probably just because IE9 has a fairly finalized implementation of hardware acceleration and having spoken to the guys at Firefox uh, I don't think hardware acceleration is their prime concern but it may get faster towards the final release of 4.0 and as we know with Chrome speed is everything right so it's unsurprising to see it at the top but what I did notice is that all three browsers actually have different resource usage. So even though Chrome is the fastest, it also uses by far the most resources out of these three browsers. So the best way to show you this is, is to stop each one so you can see what's going on. So if you look at the GPU utilization, it's around 50, 51%. But if I stop, say, Firefox, you'll see it come down about 10 or 11%. If I stop IE9, again it will come down about 10 or 11 percent. But if I stop Chrome, you'll see it drops about 15, 16, maybe even a bit more. Uh, so you can presume that Chrome is using a lot more of the GPU than the other browsers. Uh, also over here, if you are watching, these graphs also changed in a different manner for each browser. Uh, Firefox and IE9 seem to use one core each, while Chrome seems to use two or three. I don't know if it's a programming thing, or if it's uh, Chrome has been coded to use more hardware resources, whether it's more greedy. And let me show you this. Now the graphs are all flattened out. If you ignore this one and this one, by the way. So let's bring Chrome in, and you'll instantly see two or three of these graphs shoot up. So one, two, three. And again, it's using maybe 20-25% of the CPU. If we bring IE9 in, I think you only see one graph go up here. See the one here on the end? And this one. So it's using about one and a half cores. Using one on its own, and it's using a little bit of this Chrome core over here. But Chrome is still using two and a half, and IE is using one and a half. Let's bring Firefox in now. Watch those graphs. So it's used a bit of the IE9 core, and it's used a bit of its own. So Firefox seems to be using even less than IE9, which would explain the lower frame per second speed. So, I mean, it's very hard to draw any conclusions. I, I think that the browser are just faster depending on how much resources they use, which is fairly intuitive, really. So whether Chrome will keep its hardware intensive build uh, when it's released, who knows? Whether Firefox will be tuned to steal more of your CPU time and GPU time, who knows? Uh, but that's the current state of play for browsers and HTML5 hardware acceleration, and I hope it was interesting.